Hey guys, welcome to Right Alright. I'm Chad. And I'm Chad. What you guys have been asking for, everyone's been saying in the comments, where's the Hornet review? Where's the Hornet review? Well, today is the time. Well, here's the Hornet, and what's this? This is the Raggy WBX5. Everyone wanted to see the Hornet, but... Well, there I were... don't know. We didn't actually count the votes. We just know these two had a lot. I know the Hornet got more than that, but I decided, you know what? I'm bored. I want to build both. The whole design philosophy really is to reduce profile drag. You're flying a quad through the air like that, you've got this much air that needs to be pushed out of the way. Quad is flying through the air like that, there's actually less profile drag, so it has to push less Arms. less air out of the way. Aside from all the design, it's beautiful. Yeah. The work and the attention to detail on this, everything looks cool, like to, to the painting on the sides there. But let's talk about the trash quarters, I like to call it. Well, you keep saying that it's made of garbage bags, but I think he said milk cartons. It's plastic. <laughs> oh, the thing I like about this, durability is the real sort of trademark of this. The motors are protected. It's supposed to take knocks. You're supposed to be able to run this into solid objects, and instead of things breaking off, it just bounces. We've got... Oh, yeah, the gear is the same in both, right? Yeah, exactly. The only difference, this one has got a kiss fly controller, and this one's got a, be a beta flight board. And this is actually... Now, why got... didn't you put a kiss in here? Because this has got tilted motors. Now, at the time, KISS didn't actually support tilted motor functions. It's actually being introduced now. Aside from that, everything else is the same. The HQ 5x4x3 blades, but the Emax RS2205, 2300 kV motors on there, KISS 24 amp ESCs, a Tramp VTX, yeah. and we've got a run cam, a Swift in there as well, and running a 2.8 mil lens. Oh, but, but look who's calling. We're, we're shooting an episode right now. So you want to take it from here? Uh, yeah, so the carbon raggy, you don't want to buy it. Main reason is because of that one carbon fiber piece that sticks out, that pokes you when you're trying to build it. It gets stuck under the skin, and then you have uh, a splinter there for essentially three decades until you're 48 or 50, and you've lost all children, and your wife has left you. And that's how that works, so don't buy it. Now it's time to get out there and fly both of them. They have identical components, except for the fly controller, but I've set both of them up to fly as similar as I can. The differences will be in the frames. Let's get this sucker up in the air and try it out first. Very maneuverable. Uh, it's, it's well balanced. Being an X-frame, you'd expect that. Let's see how, how agile it is. I've got the, the HQ 5x4x3 props on them, so they're more of a freestyle prop. They probably don't bite in the corner as well as some of other some of the other types of props. You've got to keep that in mind, but it flies quite nicely. I mean, let's, ha let's have a look at uh, top speed. Top speed is quite nice. There's, I mean, it's not blowing me out of the park, but I mean, once again, we've got a freestyle prop on there, and it's more of a freestyle setup on there, if I had to be honest. So we're not going to go for absolute speed there. Yeah, what can I say? I, I I really liked it. It's not like blowing me out of the out of the park in terms of performance, but I mean these days a lot of the quads kind of fly similar. But at the same time, I'm flying a, a, a plastic quad. Next, the Hornet. Let's go. It feels pretty good in the air. It's it's nice and locked. And we've got wind out there today as well, so I mean that's playing a factor in both frames. The interesting thing I find is like I'm flying all these different frames and I'm not noticing a huge difference between the frames. It's kind of feeling similar to the Raggy in terms of speed. I am noticing that with the same amount of tilt that I'm probably not ballooning quite as much. And that might have something to do with the airfoil shape, but I don't think, uh, I'm not seeing a huge difference in speed with the same kind of setup. This does feel, this does feel bigger in the air. It, it doesn't feel as nimble going around. And I know there's, there's a difference in the tuning there, but it does feel bigger. The interesting thing is both of these quads are about the same weight. There's about 10 grams difference between the two of them. Yeah, no real complaints with how it flies. It flies just nicely like the, uh, like the Raggy did. Bring her in for a landing. 
there you go. So we, we covered both pretty well as far as a basic overview. What yeah. we're really interested in is how they perform and what other people think. Since we don't do a lot of reviews, it's not all about our opinion. Uh, so you went to multi-GP Yeah, I went to multi-GP and I figured rather than me talking about these things, which I'm sure you guys are pretty bored of, let's get some other pilots' opinions. <laughs> I just want two or three pilots, and it'll be like a, a minute per battery. Let's get you and Jason. You two are the two highest seeds of our list. You and Jason. He's got some quads. They're touted as racing quads. Each person's going to get a battery. Maybe not even a full battery. Just 60 seconds, fly it around, and then go to the next one. The whole time you're keeping your goggles on, so you never see the quad. Okay. And I don't want any of the guys to see the quad until afterwards, so you're flying, and then you land, and then I want to get your thoughts, and then we'll show you the quad. People will judge something based on looks. Looks? are uh, an important factor to anyone, including me, but looks don't necessarily change performance. Oh. What the hell? What the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> no. is, is that motor spinning the right way? Okay, stop. I pushed forward and it went backwards. Are you sure? I swear to God. Yeah, dude, see? I'm not what retarded. The hell? Oh, sh I know what I did. <laughs> I don't know what I did. I you put, put the, the pot on backwards. I put the pot in <laughs> <laughs> I really don't like you, do I? Got a couple of guys here that are going to be doing this blind test. Let's go through them one by one. They can introduce themselves. Hello, oh, I'm Brain Drain. I, I crash, apparently, but uh, race squads. Hey, I'm Flying Bear. I'm addicted to flying drones. The, uh, they're to the point. I like this. Only one take required. <laughs> oh, I'm Sparky MJ. Uh, I work as a part-time mechanic, but I love to fly quads, and I've been doing it for a little over a year now. I'm Chad Rains. I work with Progressive RC, and uh, out here doing a lot of really awesome work with uh, Sparky MJ. How much do you want to think there's a massive joke being played on us right now? I feel like he's going to pull out. <laughs> yeah, he's going to do two kiss quads. No, he's it's going to be old firmware and the new the new firmware with the new kit maybe or firmware. maybe no, no, one of them he's gonna pull out like, one of like an dude. s1000 with like a crazy big size slr and the other's a three inch yeah <laughs> yeah Which something like that better? that is armed that is disarmed I'll, fly, I'll stand next to you in case you you get a little bit worried three two one take off okay, so what's your first thoughts about it it's heavier uh the rates are a little different than what i normally fly but it's smooth yep. on roll i do a flip yeah, the, I mean, it's tuned great. It doesn't have any bounce back. Uh, Is it actually, it on high end, a little sluggish. Not a whole lot there. Like right when, I, when I go full throttle, I expect a little more and just kind of tops out, but not bad. Like on a tight course, I could race this. So it does respond very well in the mid six. I think it does feel a little heavy in the corners. What's top speed like for you? Um, a little slow. Uh, it pitches quite a bit uh, with throttle. It's not slow. It's, it doesn't have the best top speed. A little drifty. Speed is good. Yeah, I think the speed is... Yeah, just average speed, yeah. for sure. It, it feels like a, a normal, average power, okay, cool. medium quad. Yep. So, yeah. All right, we'll good. bring her in for a landing, and we'll, we'll start flying the next one. Frame number two, blind right. flying test. Let's see it. Three, two, one, take off. Ooh, this Battery is a lot sappier. Dude, that yeah. looks amazing. It feels like I'm floating on a cloud. And if I were to freestyle, I'd probably want to choose this ring. It's just so smooth. It's really responsive. The corner's really tight. Like, I can just orbit this gate. Pretty good. It does feel a little bit lighter than the last one, I'd say. This one does seem a little bit faster than the other one. So they both setups have the same motor and prop combo, same ESCs. Watching you fly it at full throttle, though, it actually looks slower. It feels different than it Next looks. You have money. to fly it like faster. Yeah. It gets up to top speed a lot faster. It definitely floats a lot more. I yeah. like that. It hangs for a long time upside down. It responds to my throttle inputs better. Yeah. That's that's what I think it does the most. And you know what? I feel like the rates might be a little more adapt. Maybe they're different. Maybe they're not. Yeah. But uh, I tried I to get the rates. So the actual roll rate is the same for all axis. The feel might be a bit different because they're different aircraft, but they will roll the same rate. Is it comparable? It's very hard to. It seems to faster. It seems faster. Yeah. But yeah, the the, the corner, it it just feels so light and clickable. Oh, 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 oh that's not me. No, that's, that's probably what dropped you last time. Yeah, you're hitting something. Yeah, there we go. Okay, there yeah. we go. It's <laughs> All right, I'm good. I know there was one front. Okay, don't bad. look just so yet. I wanna I wanna pull these. Go, record. Okay. Chad Kappa, you put these screws in. No. Your fault. 
Now we know why it crashed. <laughs> Take your goggles off. Okay, so first of all, we have the Hornet. Molded carbon, tilted motors. It's supposed to be like a wing going through the air. This is rag -y. It's plastic. The whole idea of this is that this is pretty much indestructible. It's a little bit heavier than what you would do with carbon fiber. This is 10 grams heavier than that in flight configuration. That's it. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. So not that much. It's about the same. What I want you to do, which one was A and which one was B? Oh, we know. That Definitely that's B. A. Well, this one this, yeah. a, B. But I, I would yeah, have said I mean, that from the beginning. I don't understand how that one feels so much floatier. Oh, right. Only 10 gram mass difference. Yeah. yeah. Like that? That's crazy. It felt like it weighed nothing, and this one felt like a heavy quad. Same ESC. I, I don't. Same ESC. I think the, 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 the drag from just, just the, the arms are I think, so wind, I think, I I exactly think this one is. would prevent you from slinging it up from, over into an arc because the wind would, it wouldn't sail as high. Oh, because this that's, big, that's this what big yeah. it's so much frontal. When you try to you punch, go when you go high. upwards, because yeah. the motors aren't exactly I mean, really far angled. Yeah. So. When it's flying like this, this is very, very efficient. When you're flying really fast, yeah, it's not at all. Thank you very much for basically getting involved in this, guys. This is a, I, this is very eye-opening for me, and I hope it was eye-opening for you. Very cool. Thank you for the experience. Yeah. All right, now for the fun part. This thing is supposed to be indestructible, and this thing is supposed to have various features when you hit things hard. Stop the video now. Wait until I've explained it first. I want you to stop the video and think to yourself and write down on a piece of paper what do you think is going to happen to this of me flying full speed into a solid wooden object. I think this is probably going to be okay. Maybe this top part might come off, but I think that's probably all that's going to happen. Maybe the battery might come off. That's about it. Okay. <laughs> Post-mortem, from what I can see, the motors are perfect. This has all been squashed in because of course that's gone in like that. The camera's taken a bit of a hit, but it's not damaged. Like, it's got a bit of a scratch on the lens. Aside from seeing what the battery looks like, this is actually, this will fly again. No dramas whatsoever. Did quite well. <laughs> Next, we've got the Hornet. Um, that impact was a lot harder than what I thought it was going to be. Uh, and I was quite surprised that the Raggy survived it as well as it did. I don't have as hopeful feelings for this one. The arm is going to come off, I know that much. Well, depending on which, how, I, how I hit it. If the arm does come off, it's going to rip the motor wires out or off the ESCs because I don't have bullet connectors in there. Uh, the manufacturer does recommend to have bullet connectors in there, so please note that. But I think this is going to be damage but we'll pause it here so that you can write down your results and what you think is going to happen actually I don't need to sit like that for ages because if you pause, don't worry <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to take the goggles off <laughs> Holy crap! I'm not happy right now. <laughs> what did you expect? I don't know, but I, th I thought I saw fire in the sky. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Yeah, damage report. Uh, the VTX looks like it's still fine, but I'm going to need a whole new wiring loom set for this by the looks of it. Receiver bind button has been removed. Two front ESCs are dead. Looking at this now, I'm not surprised that the frame broke the way that it did because it was a full frontal impact. A sideways impact or, like, or a glance, I would have expected the arm to come off. Yeah, we didn't even hit the arm. There's no paint on the sides. The motors aren't dented or anything like that. There's basically no impact to the arm whatsoever. I built this thing. <laughs> I want to see... Kappa made me do... This was Chad's idea. Before you guys go out there and say, Hey, you're needlessly destroying quads. I was fine to put this up on the shelf and say, look at this, and every once in a while go out and enjoy its beauty and go and fly it. But no! Kappa said, let's fly it into a solid object because that's going to be educational and fun. 
this is the result. Maybe educational, but now I've got half of this stuff is my gear in here. So I like I could do that, and it doesn't matter anymore. If any of you guys want to have a go at me for, d look at him. What? That, that guy right. <laughs> it's hit. Blame him. Talk to him. This is all his idea. It's n doesn't matter that I was having fun at the beginning. So just to be clear, it's Chad's fault. Yeah, it's Chad's fault. In the end, we want to see these manufacturers do well. We want to see people continue to innovate. I mean, this is one of the most unique yeah. designs that I have seen. And Doing something different, I think, is the important key. If we just keep on regurgitating the same thing over and over, right. you're, not gonna make we, any progress. you're not going to do anything. And I like seeing different ideas out there. And check this stuff out. It's worth flying. Do you regret building either one of these? I like free stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> So I got him. I finally again. got him. Let's try that again. Yeah. To me, when, when you try something new, it gives you an idea or like, oh, well, that's I've, I've never thought of actually putting something together that way or something like that. So it's all it's a, all extra stuff. I mean, yeah, there's occasions there where you're sitting there chucking a screwdriver across the room going. <laughs> but hey, that's part of building. And hey, we want to encourage people to keep pushing boundaries and yep. keep trying things. Uh, Chad, anything you want to end or end with? I, I like free stuff. <laughs>